In this presentation, you will learn about understanding Indianization and indigenization of sociology in India. In order to understand Indianization and indigenization of sociology, it is important to understand the concepts of sociology in India, sociology of India, and sociology for India. Sociology in India stands for professionalization of sociology that involves teaching of sociology. It started in 1914 at the University of Mumbai by the grant received from Government of India. However, the discipline of sociology has made its formal beginning at Calcutta University in 1917 due to the efforts of B. N. Seal, but did not make any impression. In 1919, the Department of Sociology was set up at the University of Mumbai by Patrick Geeds, who was joined by G. S. Gurrier and N. A. Tuti. Sociology was introduced in the Department of Economics and Sociology in 1921 at Lucknow University, headed by Radha Kamal Mukherjee. Due to the effort of B. N. Seal and A. F. Wadia, sociology was introduced at Mysore University in 1928, and in the same year, sociology was started at Osmania University under Jafar Hassan, and in the late 1930s, the teaching of sociology began in Pune University under Iravati Karve. However, undertaking empirical research was prevalent before professionalization of sociology to satisfy the requirement of the colonial government. The area of research were caste, tribes, family, marriage and kinship system, rural and urban communities, and were influenced by the Western values and normative principles of Christianity, which many Indian scholars felt was biased. Teachers had freedom to design the courses as per their interest. Sociology of India stands for the perspectives to understand Indian society. It covers social researches undertaken to study Indian society from colonial to contemporary period. The attempt to understand structural and cultural aspects of Indian society were investigated by undertaking village studies, city, region, nation, and civilization. Even the basis for differentiation, diversity, and unity were investigated through institutions such as caste, class, tribe, kingship, marriage, and family, gender, political institution, and religious traditions. Attempts were made to examine these institutions by studying the concepts such as communalism, secularism, and identity movements. Sociological perspectives thus remain an important factor to understand Indian society. Sociology for India stands for emancipation and contextualization, that is, Indianization 
and indigenization of sociology mukherjee divides development of sociology into three distinct periods proto professional stage before 20th century professional stage of descriptive and explanatory sociology in the first half of the 20th century and present diagnostic stage in his opinion indian sociology should enter diagnostic state in order to seek solutions to the social problems faced by indian society there was a paradigm shift in indian sociology a question was raised regarding the relevance of pedagogic content of sociology and the methods of research ram krishna mukherjee called this phase as a modernizers of indian sociology by 1980s there was a quest for the relevance and indigenization of sociology in india the western influence on indian sociology began to decline and 1990s onwards the indian sociology started focusing on lpg ppp and other areas such as gender dalits migration and diaspora etc thank you for watching the presentation